thank you, Benita. It's really great to be here at the launch of Global Sharing Week, and especially at a time when more and more people across the world are beginning to discover the value of sharing in their lives and in their communities. Um, as Benita said, I run a, a civil society organisation that cam campaigns for a fairer sharing of wealth, power and resources, both within and between countries. And as the, the name suggests, share the world's resources. Um, the practice and ethic of sharing is central to our advocacy and our research work. For us, the growing interest in the sharing economy in recent years sig uh, signals an important shift in consciousness that could potentially transform the way we understand and address most of the um, most urgent crises humanity faces. These include, of course, poverty and inequality, climate change and the broader environmental crisis, but even um, military conflict over land and resources, as Lord Stern mentioned earlier. As we all know, the sharing economy presents a radical departure from traditional business models, allowing people to simultaneously reduce their carbon emissions, save money and strengthen <laughs> communities. But in order to make um, the really difficult transition to a more <coughs> equal and sustainable world, we need to recognise that sharing is also pivotal to how we restructure all aspects <coughs> of our social, political and economic systems in the 21st century. Now that's quite a bold statement, so let me just briefly explain um, why we take this view. Despite the ongoing rise of the sharing economy, which has been uh, wonderful to watch, there's actually been a dangerous shift away from the practice of economic sharing across the world in recent decades, especially in relation to um, hunger, poverty, and life-threatening deprivation. Some 40,000 people die every single day for lack of access to basic resources such as food, water, and healthcare. Um, and you might have heard earlier this year, Oxfam put out a report that suggested um, sometime quite soon, I think next year, 1%, the richest 1% of the world's population will own the same amount of wealth as all the rest of us combined. We also need to find more effective ways of sharing the global commons. Humanity is now consuming natural resources 50% faster than the planet can replenish them. In fact, the average person in this room has a, a global, a sort of ecological footprint of three and a half planets. Um, and that's the, and, and that's, you know, that's obviously unsustainable massively. And uh, it's the wealthiest 20% of the world's population. Again, that's us, more or less, uh, that consume 80% of these resources and are therefore responsible for the vast majority of climate change. So these examples make it clear that we urgently need to share our collective wealth and resources in more just and sustainable ways. And that's why Globe Sharing Week is so important because it presents a real opportunity to expand the discourse on sharing to include how this simple and timeless principle can help guide our policy response to systemic crises. Uh, but in order to comprehend the true potential of sharing, we first need to open our hearts and minds to what sharing means in the broadest possible terms. Ultimately, it's about recognizing that we only have one planet Earth that all people are part of an extended human family with the same basic rights and needs, and that strengthening all genuine forms of sharing can play an important role in securing these needs universally. It's with all this in mind that we launched the Global Call for Sharing campaign a few months ago, which we hope will galvanize international support for sharing in all its forms. In our campaign report called um, Sharing as Our Common Cause, I've got a few copies of them if, um, if anybody would like one, uh, we highlight how a call for sharing is already central to the demands of individuals and organisations working in very different fields. From proponents of the sharing economy and commoners and peer-to-peer -peer advocates like many of you in this room, uh, but also environmentalists and social justice activists and, and those campaigning for democracy and peace. We've already had a diverse array of around 900 of people and organisations from nearly 60 different countries sign the global call online, including a number of sharing economy companies. So in the run-up to Global Sharing Week, I'd like to challenge all of you who are passionate about sharing to do three things. To emphasize the sharing in the sharing economy by placing social and environmental imperatives at the forefront of all sharing economy initiatives. To recognize the broader implications and dimensions of sharing wealth, power, and resources at all levels of society, from the local all the way up to the global. And for you all to add your voice to the emerging worldwide call for sharing by going to www.sharing.org where you can read our short campaign statement and sign the global call. I've actually left some um, information on the sharing table if anybody would, would, would uh, like any more information about any of this or you can just approach me, I'll be here. So I'll leave it at that. Um, thank you very much and uh, here's to a su successful global sharing week. Thank you. Thank you.